Welcome to the channel. Chinese English Express. Today, I am going to come up with a new and exciting content. Before going to the video, please subscribe to my channel. Title of the story: The Ox and the Donkey. A poor farmer had an old ox. The ox didn't like to work. He didn't want to plow the farmer's field. He wanted to stay at home and eat grass and drink water. He wanted to rest. The farmer had a donkey too. The donkey was the ox's friend. At the end of the day. The ox and the donkey talked to each other. "I'm so tired," the ox said. "I worked hard all day. The plow is big and heavy. The farmer never lets me rest." The donkey looked at the ox. "The ox is lazy," he thought. He doesn't like to work. Do you think your plow is heavy? He cried. Believe me, my friend, it is light. Now I was carrying a sack of TF on my back today. It was heavier than your plow, I am sure. The next day, the two animals met again. I had a bad day today," the ox said. "My master's field is far away, and it was full of stones. I worked hard all day. I didn't have any rest." "You worked hard," said the donkey. "I went to the market today. It was in the town, many kilometers away." I'm sure I worked harder than you. The next day, the ox came home late again. Oh, my friend, he said to the donkey. Today was a very bad day for me. But the donkey didn't want to listen to the ox any more. You're always tired, he said. Every day is a bad day for you. Listen, I have a good idea. Tomorrow, when the farmer comes, lie down on the ground. Close your eyes and say moo. Moo. The farmer will think that you are ill. He will let you rest. The ox liked the donkey's idea. Thank you, dear donkey," he said. "That's a very good idea." So the next morning, the ox lay down on the ground. He waited for the farmer. When the farmer came, the ox closed his eyes. "Moo." Moo, he said. The farmer looked at him. My poor old ox is sick, he said. But I must plow my field. Who will help me? Why, there is my donkey. He can pull the plow today. So the farmer took the donkey out to his field. He tied the plow to the donkey and began to hit him with his whip. Go on, faster, pull! He called out to the donkey. The donkey worked hard all day, and in the evening he was very tired. Slowly he walked home. The ox was waiting for him. Dear donkey, the ox said, "I had a lovely day today. I ate some grass and I drank some water, 
and I rested under a big tree. I want to rest again tomorrow. What shall I do? Give me another idea. The donkey looked at the ox. His work is much worse than mine, he thought. I don't want to do it again tomorrow. My friend, he said at last. You must be careful. The farmer was talking to his wife today. I heard him. My ox is always tired, he said, and now he is sick. If he is not better tomorrow, I will kill him and we can eat the meat. The ox was very frightened. What? Did he say that? He cried. Then I will work tomorrow. I feel quite better now. I'm not tired at all. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel.